What was he so expressive about? So this gentleman was expressive about the topic of talking and dating. And, um, you know, is the the difference between the two if we're well, we're not his his main point was that there should be a goal there should be a point and i i think um his biggest um talking point in 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 that it was like a a few few minute video was if i've gone out on a few dates with you maybe like four dates in like a month or two four or five dates we are dating we are not talking. This, this, this talking phase um, is a, a new fictitious made up phase in order for people to avoid commitment, committing themselves to one, one dating exclusively one person. And um, I completely agree to a point i think after it gets to a certain phase after you get to talking to someone for a significant amount of time you'll know whether or not you want to date that person or you just want to keep that person there for an option when someone else falls through a little jump off jump off it's a, very, yeah. it's a very it's a very timely topic um i think we should take a moment to shout out the awesome uh sophie eugene who uh, is one Woo! step becoming a missus. Uh, okay, so shouts out to her. Word. Uh, definitely. Uh, and the uh, man who put the ring on it, too. Absolutely. Yes. Very true. And Ty, congratulations, guys. Made a brilliant made it happen. Decision. Yeah, and um, in the next 10 years, you will see why that is. Um, and so, you know, in general, it appears like, you know, his position seemed to be that there is either we're together or we're not. There's no we're getting to know each other with quote unquote talking. Um, D. Harry, well, what so I mean, okay. To be fair, to, to to be completely fair, you have to talk for a little bit in order to figure out if this person is going to be worth your time. Uh, what is your now, how of a long? Little bit? Yeah, exactly. Now, how long that little bit, that amount of time is is what d differentiates someone who's serious or someone who's keeping a bunch of different options open. All right, so I, I, have, a, I have a take on this, right? So Go ahead. when, before, because there's different elements to it, right? So if before you talk to somebody or you're interested in them, wouldn't you kind of get to know them already before you take interest in that person? So it's not like, you see somebody for the first time and you're like, oh, I'm talking to you because I like you. Like, wouldn't you kind of see who they are as a friend first before you actually take interest? So, so not necessarily. Because okay, you, don't, you so don't normally just go up to somebody and just say, oh, I'm talking? Like, the, the, the talking phase doesn't make sense to me. That's all I'm just going to say. So <laughs> what, the thing is, the, the reason why it doesn't make sense it's because people have extended and expanded exponentially yes. the talking phase. The talking yes. phase is a very vital phase, but it's only supposed to be a very short period of time. Yes, there okay. we go. But okay. the fact, the thing is, people, it's it's almost like it's almost like someone who puts a, a a ring on a girl's finger, but takes ten years to marry her. Mm. It's like, yo, if you if you put the ring on the finger, how come you ain't? How come you ain't setting a date? How come you okay. no so, rush? So example. Let's, let's just be engaged. All right, so years. no, that, that's what I'm saying. So, so that's what talking like like uh talking is a talking is a legitimate thing. Being engaged is also a legitimate thing. It's a very important part of it. But when it's extended too long, it be it loses its value. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All it right, loses so, its value. So when you talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Are you gauging if that person's interested in you and they're interested, if they're interested in you or if you're interested in them? Is that what the no, talking I, phase I, is? I, I, for, for me, my, my definition of talking is I'm gauging to see, cause, because if we're talking on the phone, like we, we, we've met, we've exchanged numbers, like I like you from the few words and from what you look like. So now I'm going to see whether we're compatible. 
right? Like, what are your goals, your dreams? What's your family? Like, you know, what, what, what does future look like? I feel like that's like the, the, the talking phase. Like, okay. where, where do you want to go? This is where I want to go. Are those things compatible? Do you want children? Oh, I want children. You don't? Okay. So in that talking phase, you figure those things out and then determine, okay, like we're not a match. Let's just be friends or let's just never talk again. What talking has become, it be, it's become like this little, this little, little, this deep, like, if you want to call them F boys, they, they've, they've, <laughs> they've taken the, the F stands for fun. How did that come up your Fun mouth? boys. Fun. Fun. Maybe. All the fun boys. <laughs> the, the F stands for fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shout out to the fun boys. What else anyway, do you stand for? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. The thing is, it's like fun boys got this, they, they got this little fanny pack mm. that they like to keep females in. It's called a going. And so in, or, a in order to keep those females, they have to keep them in a phase. They have to lock them in somewhere so that they can't mm. lose them. Because what they what they're getting from them, they like. Whether it be sex or money, or this girl feeds me, or this. They like to keep them there so that they can get what everything else that they need from all these other different avenues. Vice versa, they, my boy. Vice they, versa, and they don't, my boy. That, true, this is true. Very true. Very this true. is true. It's a two-way street. It's a two-way street. Mm -hmm. Very true. Women, hold on, hold women on, hold do on. the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Cardi B and Nick Stallion. If you come out of the talking <laughs> phase, let, if you come out of the talking phase uh -huh. and you realize, oh, this ain't the one for me, like, but I like, I like the, I like the, the nights that I spend with her. I was like, let me keep her in this talking phase mm -hmm. so that I can keep this going and get the benefit that I need. Mm. And I feel like what keeps people in the talking phase is the lack of um, specificity oh, real quick, and yo, Rico, if you're talking, you're, 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 you're muted. So I don't want to miss what you said. So hold on. Let Wendy like, say. It's... Go ahead, Wendy. I'm yelling at my kids. Oh, my oh. bad. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go on and yell. You I am, I am yelling at one of my kids. I, I see his facial expression change. I say right. he's spazzing right. on somebody right now. <laughs> You see me no. go on this year? <laughs> hey, I'll sit down and go to Julia! I'm muted because I want you to hear. Go ahead. Um, so I, I, I was saying, I feel like what, what keeps people in that talking phase is um, the lack of specificity and the lack of intentionality. Um, oftentimes, and I'm speaking from a woman's, woman's perspective, I'm not singling out men, but I'm speaking Which from my want. perspective. Um, you know, men will say what they want for their future, right? Oh, yeah, I, I, I want to be married one day. I want a family. However. But it's not you. Women, exactly. <laughs> they get stuck on those thoughts. And mm. I tell many women, like, but unless they say they see that with you. You. They're not lying to you. They can mm. see that that's what they want. You need you now need to be specific mm. and say, okay, do you see that with me? Don't Instead ever let a man have to tell you more than once that he don't want you. Mm. Yes. You know, or, or um, show you, so, or show, mm. show you. You know, show men, you. men, men will show and speak a completely different game. And I, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I, I've learned now to go quickly off of people's actions than their words. Men yeah. and women, um, both. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. If, if you're showing me that you don't want me wrong, but you're saying, well, you know, let's figure this out. Nah, your, your, your whole actions are saying something different. And it's, and it's that, 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 that miss fire of words and communication that mm -hmm. keep people sometimes stuck in a talking phase when they don't really want to be. Yeah. Check your call and text log. If he's, if he's only contacting you after 9 p.m. when minutes are free, <laughs> when minutes are free, <laughs> when minutes are free, bro, agent, yes, bro, Harry, agent, bro, Harry, bro. Harry, 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 listen, this talking, <laughs> thing, this talking thing is an interesting um, phase. First off, you know, I'm not sure who started it, but I'm positive men are the ones who um, I'm sure y'all did manipulated it into what it is. Because and it's funny because men don't like to talk. 
<laughs> but it does it does give men it does give guys um actually we'll just keep it real. It's mostly a boys thing, right? Mm, yeah, and the reason why yeah. I say boys because um it gives you it gives you the advantage of um of uh it puts a woman in a place where she is now pushing other people away. However, time. you're not a scumbag because that's not your girl. So <laughs> that's you true. can still move through the world how you want to move because you're, I never committed. Now, the way women work is they go, I'm going to put a pause on the other things I have going on mm -hmm. because if this becomes a more serious thing, then I don't want to have to then have to tell this guy and this, I'm going to put a pause on that now. Guys, we go, or boys go, uh, well, that ain't really my lady. I'm just talking to her. So, we, uh, you know, I'm going to move through the world how I want to move through the world. But also, now, men have the luxury of dating women, multiple women at the same time, without being labeled as a hoe, a whore, a slut, a tramp, where we're, women we're, you know, we talking to more than yeah, one Women, women, women are not the labeled badge. like that no more. Women ain't you labeled know, like no more. They're not you know, labeled like that. I'll there is, that there is. There is another thing that ends up happening with this talking thing, and it's just a bigger issue that just doesn't affect boys or guys. It affects men as well. And um, I wanted to get Wendy's perspective on this, which is men, we spend a lot of time chasing ecstasy, and women value intimacy. And it takes a really, really long time as a man um, for us to understand that intimacy is far better than ecstasy. Now, the thing about intimacy is it takes time, it takes trust, it takes communication, it takes chemistry. Mm. Um, mm. And these things don't happen with long periods of just talking. So, I mean, weed um, is better than cocaine. Or. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> or, or. Oh, it's wrong with you. <laughs> or. Having a deep connection with one person <laughs> is better than chemically filled ecstasy with a bunch of people. But mm -hmm. you know, it takes a long time for the like. Think about this for a second. What is a midlife crisis? Is usually when a guy decides I want more ecstasy. They're you know forty something, fifty something, whatever, whatever. And women are kind of like really like you, you still running around chasing like. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't understand, like, you know what I mean? So this extended period of interaction um, that is that is not very serious is one that although I would have explained it a little less enthusiastically than do the video, in the video, I do understand. Um, His name is Brett Gray from On My Block on Netflix. Y'all know who, if you've seen the show, then y'all know what expressive mm. means. Hey, Brett Gray, hey. <laughs> So, you know, um, but yeah. That was one, that was about me. That was one, that was about me. Well, go ahead and mute yourself again. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that, that, you know, that, that's just my thought on the thing, you know what I mean? Dave, what you, what you was thinking? Um, I, I, when it, when it comes to, man, that, that's a tough one, man. It's like, so, you, making, making a point about, you got to get to a point to where, you're like, okay, one person definitely outweighs just skipping with a whole bunch of different people because it's just a whole up bunch of different personalities. I think it's a switch you have to you have to turn that switch off. I don't think that thing leaves. I think there's always that carnal part of you that's like, you know what? There's a couple things I was at Walmart the other day. There's a couple things out there, baby. What am I really? There's a switch you have to turn off to, like, hmm. yo, listen. Is it on the clearance aisle? What happened? The class out, not the class out. Come on, man. Don't do that to me. Mute. Mute. Don't do that. I was at the clearance out. <laughs> but, you know, both, don't, don't, I don't want to, I feel like oftentimes we give, like, males this pass that this testosterone and it's just so much and they just can't be with the one woman and it's um, innate and da 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 um, You know, women have eyes too and like Pablo was saying like we choose to turn that off 
However, now me personally, I I do not feel like it's a problem to be talking to two different people at the same time. You like, just better not be professing your love to both of them. Exactly. There is, comp- that's why I said talking, not dating, right? Talking, right? Talking is we're figuring each other out. We're we're probably we're going out on dates. We're having dinner. We're having coffee. There's nothing wrong with dating. Um, well, like, well, now it's called talking to, right? Talking to, you know, more than one person as long as you're honest about your intentions, and you know you're not manipulating the situation to keep someone locked in um, a, a situation that you're not sure that you truly want. I would well, say, oh, real quick, there's an interesting thing. There's an interesting thing you just did there. You equate dating and talking as the same? No, 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 no. I, I, I said, well, now this, this, this talking phase. I feel like it kind of takes place of what I would have called dating back, back then. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I um, you know, for for me, the way I understand this talking phase thing, or just in general, is one of again that's why i say i believe this is like a male driven phenomenon in the sense of there is no formality in our interactions we will interact and get together um based on time and availability and, and desire um there's but you know what but here's but here's my thing though bro here's the thing right this talking phase right so it's not only a male driven thing because when the people that ask the questions first is females. So when you're talking to a guy, like girlfriends, like when girlfriends talk to each other, like mm-hmm. guys are not like a whole group of guys ain't gonna go to one guy like, are you talking? Like females do that. And no, guys would be like, yo, is that you? Like that's yeah, what yeah, guys I, would I know, they'll, they'll be like, is that you? I mean, be like, that's, yeah. That's the same version of but the same that, question. All right, that's a different all right. version of the you're, same question. You're right. You got you're brothers? Right. Yep. When do you got brothers? I have. Brothers. <laughs> so, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my point out. Let me get my point out. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because here's my thing, right? The talking, the talking thing, right? Because females, when your girlfriends ask you, you'll just say like, "Yeah, we're talking," right? That's what mm-hmm. females say sometimes. Like, "Well, we're talking." Is that true, Wendy? Do you guys do you say that? Would you say that? Would yes, we're, we're just talking, but okay. we're not committed. But, here, but here's my thing, but here's my thing. All right. When y'all bust y'all legs open, and then y'all ask, what are we? <laughs> Boom. You should have asked that before you busted it wide open. Exactly, my but, papa. Exactly. But, but listen, listen. His, his, <laughs> That's his what I'm saying. Thing. That's what his I'm saying, thing. Bro. So, okay. It, so, listen, real, real quick, real quick. So, I'll give you a scenario. If we're out at... uh. I don't know, a Christian lounge where they're playing, you know, great <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> That's only in Tyler Perry movies, bro. That's only- <laughs> With bad wigs. <laughs> so if we, have, God, if, we out, if we out to uh, eat at an eatery or a bar or something like that, I'm with a girl that I'm talking to. Mm. I'm with a girl that I'm mm. talking to. Mm. That's I'm, a date I, to yo, me. That's I, a date like, to me, bro. Yo, I'm, Yo, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. You go, you go to the bathroom. You come out. Not even two minutes later, some other dude's talking to her. The, I feel like the reaction that the guy has to that can give you a clue sometimes of how he feels about you, or it it it, it could even wake him up. It can even wake him up to how he feels about you if he sees someone else pushing up on you. If he's never even entertained the fact that. Like, yo, am I feeling this girl? When he walks out and sees another dude and he gets off brolic and he comes over uh, and he, you know, he marks his territory. It's like, uh, everything okay here kind of thing. <laughs> and the girl, if the girl can see that, then that might give, that might tip her off. Or it could be, it could be deceitful. He may not want someone pushing up on his honey dip, whatever. But what I'm saying is, there comes the point. Hey, you <laughs> Hey, not hey, all hey, real estate hey, agents love saying? all their properties, what? my friend. H was born, but they H, all have properties. H was born in 1977, dog. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so there always comes to a point, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's in every relationship, but I'm pretty sure there's a point where the female puts it down on the table. She's like, yo, what are we doing? 
and the guy asked like the guy asked, like, oh, what are you what are you what are you talking about <laughs> like what do you know what are we doing what are we and the dude if the dude keep acting like he don't know what you're talking about after that seven dude years, don't want three you. kids How, are living okay. in the same house. He don't <laughs> want to be with you. Let me, let me be real. The dude is going to be, if, if the dude wants you, he's going to be like, hey, yo, like, he's, this is, yo, question. you're my girl. You're asking that question after three kids, five years of spending time with each other. No, I'm not going to be with the kids. <laughs> no, but, okay. I, so uh, again, I think like um, like Pablo said, it's the intention of um, the particular person and the switch that that switch. Because I it, like you know in, in in my younger days, I was I, I remember this one particular guy. I was just talking to, kicking it casually. I was not interested in a serious relationship at that point in time. I made that known to this gentleman that I was kicking it with. Called it kicking it back in the day. You and Harry was born the same year, huh? <laughs> this, this, no, but this gentleman was like, no, I want to be in a relationship with you. I want, I, I, I don't want you to date anyone else. Mm. I don't want to date Look anyone else. Mm. I want to be with you. Mm. I was like, you know what? Fine, whatever. Fine. We're in a relationship. Jeez. How dare wait, wait. you? Then, you know, six months down the line, come to find out this dude had a girlfriend the whole time of like three to four years. Glory. What? Like, why? Glory. Like, what? Help them, Lord. And so I tell that story to say, like, even mm. when you make your intentions very clear, because I was very clear yeah. with my intentions, with where I was at that point in my life. Sometimes the male ego doesn't want, like, the male ego would want to what it wants until you're ready to make that switch and know that you want, you, you know what you want, you're very clear, and you're ready to turn that switch off and say, you know, no, I don't want any other woman, I, woman, I just want to talk to you, and I'm truly honest about my intentions, you know, regardless of how clear you are, you can still get caught up in the whole okie doke because in moments like that, that's where spirit and you know the, uh, I'm adding this factor in, but that, that's where spiritual discernment comes in. And yeah, I wasn't sometimes, there. Sometimes, sometimes you don't need a, a, an overt action to know that y'all, this dude ain't for me. You just get this, 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 this. I'm, I don't want to call it a feeling because it's beyond feelings. It's like this knowing. That but that my, leaves you that leaves you reassured, like yo, this ain't it. Either it's either a no completely, or this is a no right right now for this moment in my life or this season in my life, because it ain't the right time. So that's where that's where that spiritual discernment comes in. Yeah, you're, you're completely right. But I could say, I mean, spiritual spiritual discernment sometimes it it kind it's like it kind of falls in between sometimes because. You still got to do your homework. Like you talking yes. to someone doesn't mean you automatically trust them. You feel what I'm no, saying? No, but what I'm saying is sometimes well, you know, there, there there could be some instances where you get absolutely no red flags. This looks like the one, but you keep getting something in the back of your head telling you, uh -huh. "Yo, this ain't it. This ain't the one." And a lot of times, I'm pretty sure there's so many women who have had this this spiritual heaviness, this burden on their head, telling them like. Yo, he's done nothing wrong. He treats me right. He respects me. But this ain't the one. This ain't it. And they go with it. And two years down the line, he's either beating you up or he's not treating you right. Or he took you down a road that you didn't want to be in. Your, your lives don't align. Your, your, your dreams aren't fulfilled because you guys aren't, you guys aren't linked. You guys aren't aligned. So we also choose to turn off that discernment and shut it up because we... Because he's so fine. We're, we're flesh. We, we, we want what we want and we convince ourselves like, yes, God, I know this is you. When God is telling you, sis, bruh, this ain't for you. Like, chill. No, God, I you know it. Oh, Y'all say with your words, you want Russell Wilson, but you say with your vagina, you want future. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 he brought it up. He yes, brought it to another listen. level. He brought it to another level. Guess what we're listening to. Guess what we're paying attention to. Mm. That's that's what they see. That's mm. what we see. 
Mm. Now, but mm. hold on, because it ain't only women. I know it, it flipped back to women, but the problem likely here again is dudes. Like, look, if I'm keeping it real with you, like I said before, because dude. <laughs> Dude on this particular video looked like he was complaining about men. He didn't look like he was complaining about women. All right? He didn't he didn't specify a gender, but we're not he gonna did know not. that. He did Yo, not. guys, come and on, leave so, him alone. So, leave him alone. And so, <laughs> and so the reality of the situation is Yo. that's why I said I believe this is a a, a, a male-driven phenomenon because again, <laughs> it allows you to interact with somebody without commitment. I hear you. It's interesting. These are facts. And mm. as men, we got a tendency to run around being, you know, tough guy, this and the third. And like, it'd be like, you know how many dudes will do a home invasion but won't be honest with a female? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. Um, uh, Rico, you, you, um, you come on the head. Tough you guy. That's what it is. House in the middle of the night with a gun and a mask. But to look at a female and be like, hey, look, I'm really attracted to you. Let's um, be together. Look back to the other women. Uh, do you yeah, think it, that's tough? That, that's you tough. Got, you got to go date 26 put on, on a date. Put on gloves and run into a house with a gun before I tell a woman the truth. You got to go date 26 on her. You got to let her know, yo, I want you exclusive. Okay. Hey, okay. You, okay. Hey, you. Okay. okay. But D, I cut you off, man. You were saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying um, it, it is that it's the tough guy act. I have a um, um, this is now my wife, right? So I remember, you know, going through whatever I was going through, dealing with everybody I was dealing with or whatever, and just dealing with, you know, we made me and her. Like, like, listen, I'm gonna be about you. You're gonna be about me and vice versa, right? So I'm talking to him, and my hand to the phone. My boy's like, well, "Who's that?" That's uh, so such and such. You still talking to Shorty? I was like, yeah, I'm still talking. That's what it boils down to. I'm not telling him I'm dating her. I'm not even telling her. Yeah, I'm, yo, that's just somebody. <laughs> Dummy, just say that's your girl and your boyfriend, you idiot. How about, it's just a tough guy thing. But I could say, for the most part, too, though, like, there, there is a, a level of accountability with uh, <clears throat> people that are around you, too. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> when... All right, so we'll go on both sides. So when a girl is getting getting um, like mistreated by a guy, and the guy's friend is witnessing the maltreatment, the guy's friend most likely is gonna take advantage of the same girl that <laughs> is being, you know what I'm saying? That's being yeah, it's, uh, maltreated. It's, it's not he's not playing hero. He's just like you know what that girl. She seems like she's an easy cap, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But yep. when the girl is maltreating the guy, another girl is going to try to get that good guy from the ratchet girl that is not doing her job. So it's a weird combination because, you know, on both ends, is there truly accountability? On both ends, not really. Because you need one of your boys to say, hey, yo, man, you better wipe that before somebody else does. That's hardly the case, bro. That's, that's the Tyler hardly Perry. the case. There's not enough dudes Tyler saying Perry. that. Hey, man, you better I wipe that. Like you got something good crazy. there. I've never heard I, that in my I, life. I feel like the fear of leaving the talking phase, and I'm not a, a, a male, so maybe I could chime in in my oh, no. thought of your thinking. The fear of leaving the talking phase is now you have entered into... Um, this now relationship because you're no longer talking, you have committed yourself to this person and now you're accountable yep. to this person. This person can ask where you are and what you're doing, you know, because that's communication. The mindset and changes. I have to call her. I have to text her instead of, yo, I'm a, I'm a call her. I'm a text her. Cause yep. like I've been dying to hear from her. And I get back. I come right back to ecstasy versus intimacy. The thing about ecstasy is it's fleeting and it's fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And whenever you're in a committed relationship, your ability to chase ecstasy all over the place is greatly limited. Mm -hmm. It's funny we're talking about this. I pulled in today um, mm -hmm. from the grocery store, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. I'm back in my car and I hear a commotion and I'm like, uh-oh, I must have hit the neighbor's car. And when I looked out the window, I didn't hit the neighbor's car. Uh, he got caught cheating and she was throwing his stuff out 
Out the sink. Okay. Yes, uh, sis. Now, yes. You must be from the West End. Yes. He, he, and again, this is a guy brain. He's holding a flat screen and a, I guess, a PS4. <laughs> a PS4 and a flat screen, right? Everything else goes. Yeah. <laughs> you so must I'm be from the it. West End. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't get in people's business. Uh, <laughs> Doing my best to pretend I don't hear what's going on. And it's your classic music video situation. I, I can see out my peripheral vision. To the left, to the left. Jordans are flying out the wind, uh, the door. Jeans are flying out the fitted hats all over what, the place. What size were those Jordans? <laughs> like, H. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. H. I'm sorry. By the way, we talked about your throat already. <laughs> so, now, so now, Wendy, uh, he was chasing ecstasy, right? Because from what I from from what I could tell, the last thing to fly out was a phone. Um, and she's like, "Oh, you're you're out here cheating. You 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 you're homeless. Like, how could you cheat?" And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and this made me laugh. This is the thing about women. Women always, yo, dudes are always like, "Oh, women ain't that funny. Women ain't that funny." I always hear that women comics. Make a woman yeah, mad, she yeah. will become. Eddie Murphy and she said she said you can have that raggedy itch and that virus, you nasty mother. Oh. <laughs> now I can't hold the laugh. I don't have that kind of maturity. Whoa. <laughs> <Pat> T. <laughs> Pat hold story on, short. it might have been Corona. Hmm. <laughs> Mute story yourself, short. one there. Mute yourself. Yeah, uh, thank you, Wendy. Um, but yes, in all seriousness, though, it's one of these things where, like, uh, back to what Wendy was saying, um, yes, when you make the commitment, you are now in a position to be held accountable. And oh. ecstasy and accountability don't go together. Yeah. Not well, God ah, doesn't. Hotels and, and partying and, and I'm going to meet you. Oh, she, oh, I'm going to be over there in a couple. That kind of stuff don't go together. And again, that's the problem with with. I'm not going to put this just on boys, but just men in general, is that our um, we have a, 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 an attachment to ecstasy that I don't. We don't value intimacy the way women do. Um, and that's the thing that hurts us the most. Um, that's not our end game. It is not. Wow. That's very enlightening. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not built into us as our end game. We have to try to make, for us, we have to, I'm I'm just speaking for us just naturally. We have to we have to work to make intimacy our thing. It doesn't necessarily come natural to that us. That switch, that switch, 100. percent That's that switch. Yeah. So <laughs> if if we go back to the to the talk, sorry, just, I'm sorry, go ahead, Rico. I, my concern with the switch thing is like a switch can be turned off and on. 100. percent It can. It's a mindset thing, and the thing about a mindset is. Um, once it, you know, like, all right, so, damn, man. All these black references are all tainted now. R. Kelly's, one of his more famous songs is When a Woman's Fed Up. Um, and yeah. the, the premise of the song is a mindset, yeah. right? There's nothing you can do about it because nice, baby, about everything that she once found attractive and loved about you now repels her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the moment Wendy finds out that, you know, her boyfriend has a fiance. Can we go kiss Everything I thought was a, it, you now become repulsive to me. That mind switch. Wendy, mute switch. your phone. <laughs> Whose kid is that? <laughs> <laughs> Whose kid is that? Yo, man. I man. I muted a little too late. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's too all right. That's all right. Get kisses. get them kids the love. But um, Gosh. being that. T-shirts, jerseys, all on the front yard. <laughs> His Honda Civic trunk is open. She mm. was wild. All that chasing the next to see and she said, you can have that and that virus, you nasty mother. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh. Mm. He, so he went after, he, he was getting 80%, and he saw some 20% that he wasn't getting, and he mm. wanted it, and he got went after the 20 and lost his 80. Here's mm. the problem with the 80-20 rule. In this particular instance, when you're home, ain't no 80, ain't no 20. Yeah. yeah. 
That's yeah. true. Living indoors because she allowed it. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Man. Well, clearly, men don't think about that. Mm. Well, can I make a mandate? Can I make a mandate, uh, uh, like a precedent for the next six months? We are uh, beyond the walls, hereby, and this has been signed by all of us, by the council, we hereby extend all talking phases to six to eight months because of the quarantine. That makes a lot of sense. So wait, okay. Hey, Wait, perfect about circle. So thinking about the talking phase, how long do you think is an appropriate amount of time to be in that getting to know you phase where I'm finding out if our goals match, our futures match, da, 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 in order to make that commit? Like what amount of time do you think that should be? I think, I think Corona, be, you only I, need a week. But in regular <laughs> life, I'll give you a month. Yeah, I say a month. I say a month max. A month max, to be honest. If you're talking to somebody, for me, for me, it's not even a time frame. If we're both on the same page, understanding wise of what we are, yeah, it could be a month. It could be a year. So long as we're both on the same page. Uh, Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why because. The reality of the situation is a relationship is an intentional act. If we're both not on the same exact page, mm-hmm. you're going to be there forever. Right? Because yeah. let's say you're ready in a week, and I'm not. Right? So yeah, now, but I mean, why would we be talking for a year? If, if, I, if in a year you don't know if you want to date me exclusively, clearly you don't want to date me. Yeah, because the whole, yeah. That's not true. That's not because true. The, because the That's whole point true. of talking, but I feel because the whole point of talking is because both of y'all are interested in talking to each other. His that's, indecision that's I mean. is the decision. Thank you. I mean, yes, uh, that's, yeah. a very, that's, a very, that's a very Steve Harvey way to put it. But again, the problem is, the problem is, the problem is, when we say today is April, whatever by Mar- by May, yada yada, you gotta you gotta pick or whatever. That's fine, but the problem is, it, it, I guess here's what here's my position on that. If we're talking about two two consenting adults with yada yada blah blah blah, all, all the right um, circumstances are interacting with each, with each other on a romantic level, but they have decided not and again. Both parties have decided not to say, this is who I am with exclusively, this is whatever the case may be. I am okay with that extending out. What the problem is, is usually men go along with whatever it is the female wants to do for the, for the sake of ecstasy. And then now a woman has a boyfriend and a man has a female he deals with when he got time. And that's, not, I'm, that's the part of it I'm not okay with. So, you know, I, I, I guess in, not I guess, in my mind, if we are two consenting adults at an age where we know what we want in general out of life, then it wouldn't take a year to figure out if this person is compatible enough to date exclusively. And if not, that's fine. Like, that is totally fine. I, I, I don't think there's a problem with talking to someone and then realizing that we're not compatible like we don't match we don't mesh maybe you still want to play the field which is cool do you like have a great time but I think um that 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 year and I and I know it's just a time like you know just a hypothetical time frame thrown out there that's what leads the girl to believe she has a boyfriend and the guy to you know just have this casual thing because it's been well hey we've been kicking it this long we must be in a relationship because we see each other frequently and we talk all the time and so the actions look like relationship however there has been no clarity in or definition in what this situation should is um you know again talking is just figuring out who we are to to each other as far right. as how compatible we are it doesn't take a year to figure out how compatible we are like to me that 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 that's wasn't it i feel you i feel you 
Um, H, I feel like that's a good place to stop it. Yeah. So, again, uh, you have to ask the right questions. You have to make sure that the intentions are are pure. And you know, you you make you want to make sure that in each phase you don't wanna you don't want to go too deep in a phase where that's not required. Like if, again, if you're in the talking phase, then y'all shouldn't be cutting up. You know what I'm saying? Because that that kind of ruins the whole dynamic. So uh, what's cutting up? What, <laughs> no, 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 I just decided, you know what I just decided? Hey, I'm gonna send you a link of the newest of new slang. Um, you're all over the place. I'm like, you know, up. what you mean, bro? Up. Back in the '90s, they used to nice. say knocking that bitch, knocking the boot. <laughs> you're all over. Next season, you're gonna be talking about you. You shouldn't be going to the disco together. Like, oh, I love disco. Yeah, so you want to make sure. You want to make sure that. I cannot believe we all have different parents in the same exact conversation. <laughs> the same exact script. words and conversation. Yep. There is a script. There's a Haitian parent script out there oh, somewhere. God. So we want to make sure that we're not doing the wrong actions in the improper phase. That ruins the dynamic of it and it makes things harder. Um, and, it also you know, intensifies feelings that are not there. That it awakens love yeah, yeah. that's not ready. That's true. And so also, when you're in a situation, just recapping, when you're in a situation where he's doing everything right, he's hitting all the targets, there's no red, but your spirit, I'm talking beyond emotion, beyond feelings, but when your spirit's telling you something, that there's something's off, you better go with that Run! gut feeling. You better go with that gut feeling. Oh. Also, as, as I stated before, as a mandate for, for Beyond the Walls, in this time of quarantine, we've extended the talking phase from a month to Don't six listen to Harry. 90 days, 90 days, six months. Maybe I just want to give whatever. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the ugly dudes winning right now. <laughs> because you get to walk around covering your words. <laughs> the ugliest features. But he has nice eyes. So now, <laughs> his teeth look like this. <laughs> look at those eyes. Yeah. So his teeth throwing up gang signs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, yo, you, you can have black and Spanish dudes buying them blue contact lenses. Like, oh, he's dark skinned and he got blue eyes. <laughs> guys are winning more. Ugly guys are winning like like whenever they let you wear a hat in the club. <laughs> Ugly guys are winning. What's up, man? Yo, man. Because now every dark skinned dude look like Idris now. <laughs> every dark skinned dude look like Idris. Yo, this was a great talk. Thank y'all for listening. Thank you for, for inviting us into your home. Uh COVID-19 is among us. Wash your hands. Don't go out when you don't go out if you don't need to. Get them groceries. Get in and get out. Um, you know, check on your loved ones. Check on your church fam. Uh, put a fire under your leaders to, do, to start doing something. And the, the talking phase has been extended. If you need more details, give us a call. But we're closing this out. This is Beyond the Walls. <laughs> yes, sir. Peace.